Hi everybody, my name is Njagu and welcome back to my channel. And I have a fresh prophetic word that I want to share with you all today, okay? And this is a bit of an interesting slash exciting word. This word is called what God showed me about your promised land. So this is a word for those who have been released into their promised land. I recently um, put out a video concerning the fact that the Lord has released a fresh group of people, a fresh cohort of people out of the wilderness and into the promise. But this word might even be helpful for those who are still in the waiting season right now, but just want to know what to expect when the Lord finally does that new thing. Okay, so what the Lord wants me to tell you is that it won't be comfortable, but you'll adapt. It won't be comfortable at first, but you'll adapt. And I know that that doesn't sound exciting. That probably sounds a little bit scary, but it just means that the new territory, the new position, the new mantle, this new thing is just a thing that you'll have to grow into, okay? You know, almost like when, when you're kids, when we were kids and our parents would buy us clothes that were just a little bigger than what we really wore, just a little bigger than our current size because they knew that we were going to grow into them. It's the same kind of situation, right? Because the fit wouldn't be perfect at first. It might have even felt or looked a little bit awkward at first, but you grew into those clothes until you even got to a point where they looked like they were tailor-made for you, right? So some of you are going to grow so well into the role that God called you into that everybody looking at you from the outside would have never even thought that it was a stretch for you at first. Everybody looking at you from the outside is going to assume that you were made for that position because that's just how well you've expanded in order to meet its requirements, right? So... so I want to share with you all the dream that the Lord gave me as he started me on this process of revealing this word, because that's going to add another dimension of understanding. OK, so in the dream, I was in a room and there was a woman beside me who was kind of a nurturing mother figure slash destiny helper to me in that context. OK, and this woman was telling me to get ready for something, but she told me specifically that I had to run. OK, so I started looking for comfortable shoes because I hear, okay, I've got to get ready and I've got to run, right? So I started looking for comfortable shoes to wear. And in the dream, I was actually looking for a pair of sneakers that are similar to the go-to sneakers that I just wear in my day-to-day -day life, right? But when I found those, I could only find one pair. I could only find one shoe from the set. I couldn't find the partner to match it. But I was in such a hurry that I couldn't even bother to take that time to look for the other one and Instead, I just put on another pair of running shoes that I'd never worn before. And I quickly noticed that those new shoes were loose at first, but I knew in the dream that I could tighten the laces down the line when I had more time. So I realized that I would have to deal with that discomfort. I would have to endure that poor fit for a while, but eventually things would be okay. Another thing that stuck out to me in the dream is that I was moving so quickly that I couldn't even stop to put any socks on, right? Even though I wanted to. And I thought about how, wow, a pair of socks would have made this fit a little bit better. But again, there's just no time. So when I asked the Lord what this dream meant, the revelation that I got is that there are big shoes to fill. There are big shoes to fill. And that is why there is some discomfort is because this is a thing that takes some growing into. OK, for some of you, this new role is requiring you to perform duties that you've never had before. And now you're interacting with people in a different way or on a different level. You're moving into a different level of authority maybe god may have called you into a leadership position in your work or in your community or in your faith community right so that's the kind of thing that usually comes with discomfort because growth is never easy growth is never a, a walk in the park if it was it wouldn't be growth right
So don't be disappointed when you step into the new thing and it doesn't feel perfect off the bat because I know that that can happen, especially when you've been waiting for something for a long time and it's not exactly what you imagined it to be. Sometimes you can feel a little, a little bit let down, but don't, uh, don't be disappointed. It's normal for it to be overwhelming. It's okay for this thing to feel like it's a little bit over your head, to feel like it's a little bit above you because this thing is bigger than you right and when the calling is bigger than us we have to stretch ourselves in order to do it justice and I'll use myself as an example right because the Lord had me go through the same process in my wilderness season the last thing that I was expecting was that God was going to call me into life coaching that was not something that I'd ever planned to do or ever even thought about doing as a career I didn't even see how coaching fit in with the life that the Lord had promised me right like I, I was thinking okay Lord you showed me doing x y and z eventually and that the image that you showed me is what I was banking on and none of that had anything to do with me being any type of coach right now you're showing me that I have to make a pit stop in this area or in this position before you take me into the other things that you showed me you know so I wasn't prepared for it I had a lot of anxiety about life coaching at first because I felt like I was out of my element I'm the kind of person who if I feel like people are depending on me I really really take it to heart and I just feel a personal responsibility to give them the help that they're seeking right so that kind of thing it was a little bit um, I don't want to say crippling but definitely it caused a lot of anxiety in the beginning but the good thing that came out of that is that the calling felt so much bigger than me that it made me so completely dependent on God because I knew for a fact that I could not perform, I could not be up to par, I could not be the kind of person that people needed, I could not be the kind of leader that people needed if the Lord didn't show up for me in Jesus' name, okay? I was like, Lord, people's lives are involved here, this is bigger than me and I can't do it without you. And that is what the Lord wants. And that is one of the things that the Lord is bringing out of you in this season is that he wants you to be dependent on him because the word says that the Lord likes it when we come to him like a child. OK, so some of you will face similar situations when you exit the wilderness. Right. It might feel like a party that you've been looking forward to all year just to finally show up and get there and realize that you're out of your league and you're a little bit underdressed. Right. You know, so you're going to come into situations or environments where you feel like it is a little bit above you like it does require a little more than you have to give like it does require so much more responsibility than you necessarily expected but it's natural to feel that way when the calling is high and God is telling you not to worry because you're going to grow into this thing he's going to help you get your weight up he's going to help you get your skills up he's going to help you get up to par in Jesus name and as a quick you know a little tidbit a quick little you know sprinkle of information on the side one thing that I personally noticed is that people who are nervous about taking a leadership position usually make the best leaders right because their mindset is a lot more humble so God is able to use them more a lot of the best leaders are people who never wanted to be leaders in the first place, you know, um, and that is uh, who the Lord is using in this hour. He's calling people to speak who never wanted to speak publicly. He's calling people to, to be public personas who never wanted to be public personas. He's telling people that they're prophets who never thought about a prophetic call, right? So the Lord is using people who don't necessarily desire this authority because a lot of the time the person who doesn't want it is the person who's going to do it the best because their ego isn't involved right and we see that in the bible for example when the lord used moses and moses said lord please send someone else right i don't want to be anybody's leader i don't even like to do public speaking i can barely even speak right you know moses didn't want the platform and the lord is using many of people like this he wants that person who when they hear the word leader they think lord help me 
That's the kind of mentality that allows God to trust you because he knows that once you have this thing, you're going to continue to seek him and continue to depend on him. While the person who feels just so capable and so gifted and so qualified off the top is the person who's more likely to lean on their own understanding and lean on their own confidence and not lean on the Lord. God is telling you that you will grow in this new territory, that you will grow in this new thing. In fact, this new thing requires your growth. And he's made the shoes a little big. He's given you big shoes to fill so that you continue to depend on him in order to expand in Jesus' name. Okay. So another thing I want to share is that one of the things that the Lord gave me as this word was being prepared, he gave me the song, Ma he gave me the song Champion by Maverick City. I know people who watch this channel a lot are like, why does the Lord always give you Maverick City? It's not like I'm this weird, like it's not like I'm a Maverick City, you know, like I'm obsessed with them or like I'm some, you know, wild super fan. I think that I don't know as much worship music as a lot of other people might know who have been listening to it for longer. So therefore, like there's like <laughs> sometimes maybe a limited number of songs that the Lord can bring to my room remembrance to communicate a message because I don't have like the, the the huge database of songs that other people may have so yes the Lord has given me yet another Maverick City song to emphasize his message and that song is champion so read the lyrics for champion and maybe sing that song to yourself as well so that is it for this prophetic word. And for those of you who want life coaching, who have felt called to have a coach slash mentor, then go ahead and check out my information in the description. And I thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. God bless you and keep the faith.